Morning Devotion with Father C.K. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're well. It is Wednesday of week 3 of Easter. We continue with chapter 6 of the Gospel of John, welcoming you this morning, or this day. I know it's not morning for everyone. This day to our uh, devotion. We continue today with yesterday's reading. Today we pick from verse 35 to 40, and we continue by repeating its last words where Jesus tells his listeners very clearly that he is the bread of life. All those who partake of this bread will never again be either hungry or thirsty. The whole life of Jesus, his actions and words, and his relationships with those around him are a very rich source on which we can draw. In a sense, of course, we will always hunger and thirst for this full life, but by approaching and imbibing him and his spirit, our hunger and thirst are ever being satisfied while we continue to hunger and thirst for more. There will never be a time when we will want to stop eating and drinking from this source. And when we do, we will stop living. Jesus reproves his listeners for their lack of faith in him. He says, though you have seen me, you still do not believe? The question is, how much of Jesus did they really see? How deep was their perception of who he truly was and is? That may be our problem too. Without a deep trust and total commitment to Christ and all he stands for, we may find that we do not have full access to that bread of life which we need so much. The search for the full Christ is one that we will never complete in this life. We only hope that we never stop searching. There will never be a day on this earth when we will be able to say, I know Christ fully. Not even the whole church can make that claim. Yet, Jesus intensely wants to share that bread, that nourishment with us. Indeed, it is the will of my Father that everyone who looks upon the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. My dear friend, let us open our hearts today so that Jesus can fill them with his life-giving love. For he says, I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Let us open our hearts so that he can fill them with his life-giving hope. Let us open our hearts today so that he can fill them with his life-giving mercy. Let us open our hearts so that he can fill them with his life-giving forgiveness. Jesus has a mission. He says, I came down from heaven. Now, you may have noted that this phrase is repeated six times in this chapter. So he says, 
I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And what is the will of the Father? It is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything, mm -hmm, anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. This is a summary of what this whole chapter is about. God wants everyone to be with him on the last day. On our part, we have to learn how to see the Son and believe in Him so that one day we can say with St. Paul, I live, no longer I, but Christ lives in me. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. When that happens, we know that we have truly been filled with the bread that is Christ. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday.